and Charlie Collins. Live commentary from Donegal against Kerry in the National Football League is brought to you by Watson Home Hire and Hardware of Letterkenny and Donegal Town. For work and home, get the job sorted at Watson's. Thanks, Miles. Welcome back. Uh, Anthony Thompson is out of the Donegal team. Declan Watch is starting wearing number 17. There's a long ball going in here. Bit of uh, collision there between Michael Murphy and the fullback, Aidan O'Mahony. But uh, 6 of 1, half a dozen of the others, says the referee. Play away, says Derek Fahey. Donegal are attacking the town end here in the first half and uh, defending the River Fun end. They're playing in white tops today uh, with yellow trimmings. Kerry are playing in the monster colours of blue and white as they did in the quarter final uh, last year. Uh, here comes Frank McGlynn now. He's got a uh, man inside of Michael Murphy well out from goal. Rory Cavanagh making a run to his left-hand shoulder. Ross Woherty coming short to take it, takes it low, loses possession. Ross Woherty goes down and picks the ball up again. The ball's knocked away from him again. Good tackling there by... Uh, it was... Uh, Shane Enright who was doing the tackling here's Aidan O'Mahony now inside his own 45 plays it out to the far side there to Peter Crowley Peter Crowley's going to be closed down by Liam McAloon he holds on to the ball and he gives a short one now to uh, Killian Young Killian Young plays it on out to Kieran Dunne who appears to have played started in midfield he knocks it all the way back to Mark O'Shea Donegal have everybody behind the ball there's not a Donegal man inside the 45 metre line Michael Murphy just uh, heading in that direction now Tomas O'Shea making a bit of a run he's under pressure from a couple of players McBerty's there Mark O'Shea has it Mark O'Shea's fouled and uh, he wants to take it quickly man on the run is Donica Walsh Donica Walsh plays it on Declan Walsh is with him to the team very late on here Thompson did and looked to be okay but uh, didn't start the game now Donegal defending Tomas O'Shea plays a low ball across and it's going to be picked up in, out just outside the 45 by James O'Donoghue James O'Donoghue plays a ball out wider to Peter Crowley the wing back who's up he's going to have a shot that's half blocked and picked up easily inside now and Ryan Bradley's all the way back there yeah, Ryan Bradley's playing the sweeper role he's doing the Mike McHugh over Donegal it's interesting that Ross where he lost that ball too easy Charlie up the field yeah. and he's got to keep possession There's a lot of both teams getting a lot of men behind the ball and it's going to be an interesting game to referee Declan Walsh is going straight into centre half back he's been he's you said in the comment there, picked up, he's picking up uh, uh, Donnell Walsh. Yeah. Here comes Eamon McGee, who's had a great campaign so far. He's got support inside him, and he's got support outside him. Declan Walsh is running outside, very close to the sideline, just down below us here. He plays a ball forward, looking for Murphy. Eamon O'Mahony trying to get there, but Murphy gets there ahead of him. Murphy's forced back out the way now. Eamon McGee giving him a bit of support here. McGee has it, and Liam McAloon, excuse me, it is. Murphy's outside him, but he plays it to Declan Walsh. Declan Walsh takes the ball and takes a tackle as well, gives it to Neil Gallagher. Neil Gallagher on the 45 metre line, plays a ball away out to the far side. Ryan Bradley's out there on his own. Ryan Bradley cutting inside, gives it to Rory Cavanagh. Rory Cavanagh thought about the shot early on, trying to get it onto his right foot. He's been pulled, but the referee says that he was over carrying the ball, and it's going to be a free out to Kerry. Quickly taken by them, Killian Young, or Aiden, uh, excuse me, Kieran Dunne. He plays it quickly down. Kerry breaking quickly from defence here. Donegal had committed men forward, and Darno Sullivan, speedy man out ahead of Neil McGee. Darno Sullivan turns away on the 45, trying to get onto a stronger left foot. He takes the shot. Don't it's wait. a good looking shot, but it's just going to drift wide. First opportunity for Kerry, and it's drifted wide. Yeah. It's interesting, Darren Sullivan's playing a full forward, and I thought they would put Paddy Donegal, put Paddy McGrath on him, but they've left Neil McGee at full back on him. Uh, doing that's two balls lost. Ross Wherdy won, lost one down, down below here, and Rory Cavan got caught and let him throw over Cavan. It's important that with the way the game is, and especially against Kerry, because they're going to try to leave it one to one inside, and when Ryan Bradley does play sweeper, if he does move forward, it's very, very important. Now, they've Ross Wherdy and Thomas O'Shea on this side, supposed to have the playing Ryan Bradley deep, they can't put Ryan Bradley on him, uh, maybe the man man mark him. So it's just so far, it's, it's an interesting tactical battle it's as much as anything. Is absolutely up they go. Uh, Rory Cavan knocked it down, and Neil Gallagher got a hold to it. He was held as well. Referee plays a good advantage. Sonny Gall still have it here. Rory Cavan took his eye off the ball. Now he's going to be under pressure. It's a bang from behind, and the legal one says the referee wants to take it quickly, but uh, prevent us from doing so. Patrick McBerdy goes uh, close to him to give it to him. Gives it well. He sold a nice dummy. Gives it back to Neil Gallagher. He gives it to Eamon McGee. He gives it to McBerdy again. McBerdy on the run and he's got Ryan Bradley to his left hand side. He gives it to Bradley. This is good by Donegal. Now there's a chance because we've got extra men here. Liam McAloon with a chance to open the scoring for Donegal and that's exactly what he does. He does. Uh, the open carry up there, Martin, and they open them up because they move the ball very quickly. Yeah, they did, and it's interesting that. that the very important player is going to be is going to be Ryan Bradley. He's dropping back and he's coming forward at the right time and getting on the ball. And he's just going to leave Peter Crowley go. You see it here again. They're pushing Frank McGlynn up on Peter Crowley. It's interesting what they're doing. And uh, Eamon McGee's playing, playing, picking up Kieran Dunne. So Dunne started inside with Eamon McGee picking him up. And Rory Cavanagh's been picked up by number 12. He's gone to midfield. Johnny Crowley. Here's Rory Cavanagh now. 
plays it inside looking for Murphy Murphy up and grabs it and he's grabbed by uh, Aidan O'Mahony and fouled by Aidan O'Mahony Murphy wanted to take it quickly and Ross Wardy's made a good run inside grabs it there's a chance here for oh Ross Wardy's fouled is it a penalty must be a penalty yes. who's going to kick it Charlie well that's an interesting question Martin you suggested maybe that we take the pressure off uh, Michael Murphy yeah, he's but, going to kick uh, it he's, he's going to kick it he's maybe he says himself it. I want to kick it you know yeah. great ball by Murphy inside good ball Rory Cavanagh to Murphy and this is a big kick this you is know. where Ross Wardy is very useful Martin he makes good runs forward but he's, a, he's so big he's and good Thomas O'Shea likes going forward and you know, there's a way to put him under pressure by doing that there you know it's interesting I saw Derry doing it at the end of the last night against Aaron Kieran kept him close to his own goals and he doesn't like being there I suppose Murphy to take this is a big it. moment in the game here it's a big moment for Michael Murphy he's missed his two last penalties one for UCD and the other one for Donegal and yeah, for uh, DCU, yeah. uh, I, I think, DCU, I think sure. you're, you're right it's a big one but you, know, you have to give him a lot of credit he wants to kick it yeah, he yeah. says I'm kicking here, here goes comes, Charlie here he comes he kicks it and he drives it low into the net. Last week he got a bit of height on it to that side and the keeper went to the right. And Niall Morgan had been watching him. He told us that live, of course, after the game when we spoke to him. But uh, Brendan Keady went to his left and Michael Murphy drilled it low. And uh, fair play to Martin. Never easy when you've missed one seven or eight days ago to come up and strike that one so early in the yeah, game. Yeah, I said maybe to give them to Colin McFadden. But there you are. What, what do I know? He, well, funny. He kept it low. And I've always said if a penalty's kept low, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult, you know. There's the ball in the game looking for Murphy. They're certainly using an early ball here. There was a foul there. And Murphy now going round uh, Aidan O'Mahony and coming in and goes to ground again. It's causing some problems in there, Murphy. Absolutely. Absolutely. What a fantastic footballer Michael Murphy is. So aggressive when he gets possession. So strong. So difficult to do anything about because if, uh, if he decides to run past you, Martin, you have two options. Let him go or foul him. Yeah, exactly. That's what you have to do. But uh, listen, I, have all, I don't agree with this big high ball being kicked into him. And I was even saying to players, if you get a chance you know, to kick the ball in front of him, that's yeah. what he's good at. And that's the ball that's going into him there. Now. How do you mark a big man frame? If you put it in the air, the player behind him has a chance there. And that's a better ball you know, that's going into him there now, giving him ball quality that he's in front of him. Kerry, don't play with the sweeper. Peter Crowley's not prepared to stand in front of him and he'll cause problems. Hope McFadden kicks this over yeah, the bar. Colin McFadden from the 13 metre line turns it in and over with his left foot. And uh, Tony Gall have made a great start here. There's a goal and two points already on the board. We've gone seven minutes into the game in association with Watson Home Hire and Hardware. And really, Martin, they couldn't have asked for a better start. No, but it's important, suppose we, we say, Charlie, to keep at it. That's the important thing is to keep it going. You know, it doesn't mean you have the game won. Rory Kavanagh goes up and knocks it down. Ryan McHugh was seen to be pushed there. He's on the ground, but uh, Kerry Mann somehow gets it up there. Uh, Jonathan Lynn, he plays it inside, and now Kerry break away. And uh, coming up the field is Killian Young. Killian Young, one of their most experienced players. You've got Kieran Dunne to his left hand side. He's outside the Donegal 45. He's uh, half blocked. He plays a low ball in looking for Darno Sullivan. Darno Sullivan plays it out again to Kieran Dunne. Kieran Dunne, Kieran Dunne, he plays it back again to Enright. Enright has to come all the way back to Tomas O'Shea. They're coming back the way here, Kerry. They're back in their Donegal 70 metre line. Now they're trying to work their way up they've given it outside again and it's uh, still Killian Young who's up there now he plays it away out Dunne he's way out in the left corner forward position he plays it Darno Sullivan but he'd have to go back again to uh, Killian Young who started this uh, move gives it back to Darno Sullivan into to Kieran Dunne Kieran Dunne gives it to Darno Sullivan again but they're way out wide he's coming up to the 13 metre line uh, there's two or three Donegal players with him the referee says that he was robbed legally it looked to be a bit of a foul to me to be honest with you here come Donegal Paddy McGraw was involved in the tackle now he's burst up the pitch and knocks it forward here looking for Ryan Bradley good play for him I'm sorry Patrick McGurdy he gives it to uh, Murphy again Murphy takes it Aidan O'Donnell who pulls him to the ground again referee hasn't given the free but McGurdy on his left foot with a chance here Patrick McGurdy knocks it over the bar that's good play very good play by Donny Ball Murphy again involved in it but the tackling I, th I thought Martin to be honest with you I thought Darnell Sullivan might have been fouled down in there yeah I thought that too but he didn't give it he just you know he's not Different referees, referee games differently, Charlie. Derry Fye seems to be, you know, you have to one year free when you have the ball, unless you're really de definitely fouled. Mike McGlynn tackling Peter Crowley. It's 1 3 to Donegal. It's no score to Kerry. It's interesting they kick the kick out short that him because they haven't been one on the ball in the middle of the field, Kerry, to, the, to Peter Crowley, who's the, the spare man who's been left when Ryan Bradley drops back. Here's Killian Young again. Killian Young to Aidan O'Mahony, two experienced men. Oh, great tackle there. Great bit of tackling there by Patrick McBerty, and he's in again for another tackle. And uh, referee says play on. The ball played out to Tomas O'Shea here. Lee McAloon coming to close him down just down below us here. He goes round him. That's good play. Colin McFadden trying to close him down, but he's done well. Plays a ball up, but it was a poor pass. And Declan Walsh uses his pace, and he's got plenty of that, and he does well. And he knocks it back to Rory Cavanagh. Rory Cavanagh on his own 20 metre line coming out the pitch. He's got Neil Goller, Colin McFadden ahead of him. Gives it back to Rory Cavanagh again. He's got Ryan McHugh out to his left hand side. Rory Cavanagh goes to ground. Referee says he was tripped a foul and uh, the snow joins us again Colin McFadden has a man on the far side 
Brian Bradley hasn't seen him, referees calling him forward for something that was said I think and uh, Michael Murphy is out the pitch and will perhaps fancy this one is just outside the 45 metre line snowflakes and uh, on a March afternoon here in uh, the cool park in Val Buffet. Well, people were complaining about the mild weather coming too early, Martin. They can they can withdraw that statement again. Yeah, I think that exactly. It was someone they were saying that there was going to be snow. This is what was going to be snow this this weekend. It was interesting weather, Charlie. You want to think of that song of Dan? Dan has made way back snowflakes and stuff. Doesn't tell you something she's in herself. She must have known what, what what kind of weather we're going to get so many years later. Here's Murphy. That one's away out the right hand side. Is it going to go wide? It's very close. It has gone wide. Not one of Michael's best, you'd have to say. Ten and a half minutes gone in association with Watson Home Hire and Hardware. Donegal won three. Kerry no score. Kerry need to get going here. They need to get going. But from a Donegal point of view, we'd be happy enough, <laughs> Charlie, with the whole thing. But it's just and Donegal has started really, really well, and they're getting the scores. You know, and that's that probably is Donegal's first wide isn't it, as well in the, in, so, in the match yeah. as well and they put one ball in the goalkeeper's hands so they started well I mean they're using Murphy well inside and Kerry are going to leave him one to one so it's important that you know players get out of his way and leave him in that situation one to one Paul McFadden comes out and gives it off to Paddy McVerty a very good play by Donegal Paddy McVerty's got a good left foot but that one's just hit under a bit of pressure and it drifts wide perhaps Liam McAloon a pass to him would have been a he better he should have laid it there. off yeah I know he kicked a good point early on but that was a chance there and he should have laid it off He's play, he started well Paddy McVerty's playing kind of centre half forward and that is they have Liam McAloon inside with Murphy and Colin McFadden Michael Murphy and Colin McFadden it's the Ross Werdy wing half forward Paddy McVerty centre half forward and they push Frank McGlynn which is interesting to push Frank McGlynn up uh, for the kick out so we'll see he's been pushed he's been pushed up and they're playing Ryan Bradley uh, interestingly on Donaghy in that area in the middle of the field for the kick well coming to the left hand side on this occasion Rory Kavanagh gets up and cuts it down and Ross Wardy got it but uh well, I thought that was a Kerry man knocked it out of his hands here. But the, one uh, thing Ross Wardy has to, he's to tighten the ball in his hands, Charlie. I know, it, you know, it takes a while to get used to it, but the morning, you're not going to get much time on the ball. And uh, you know, it was knocked out of his hands. You feel that that there was a. I don't know. The snow's fairly coming down now, it Charlie. Certainly is. Yeah, it's stronger than it has been. Denny stage. Peter Crowley. He's yeah. given that free because of the line ball over here. My opinion, Charlie. Yeah. You know, over carrying the ball seemed a bit harsh. Anyway. And it goes to Liam McAloon. Liam McAloon gives it back out to Ryan Bradley, or Paddy McVerty, excuse me. Now Ryan Bradley's coming on to it at pace over in the stand then, plays it forward to Eamon McGee. Eamon McGee's support here from Liam McAloon, and there's Paddy McVerty. There's a man on the run, it's Declan Walsh. Declan Walsh, well capable of scoring, but he gives it back to Michael Murphy. Michael Murphy looking for support. Colin McFadden's way out around the 45 metre line as well. Gets the ball and gives it off there to Ryan Bradley again. Ryan Bradley plays it short to Eamon McGee, runs into traffic. Eamon McGee gives it back again to Ryan Bradley. There'll be patient Donegal and Ryan Bradley high challenge here by Declan by Kieran Kieran Donaghy Donaghy and uh that's totally, way, totally you know, frustration, Charlie. I would yeah. say totally frustrating. Johnny Gunner holding on to the ball. I mean, Kerry are trying to play men behind the ball. And I talked about it before the game. And your man from Radio Kerry was spot on. It's not Kerry's type of football. They just don't play football like that. And it's suiting Johnny Gunner because they're dropping too many men back, and they can't. You know, it's they're trying to hit, they're trying to say where we play, and they're trying to say then what we'll do is we'll get a ball into Darren O'Sullivan, but it's not, it's not going to work. Now, it's a player going to one of the mentors going out to Darren O'Sullivan there to talk to him, but I just think it's not going to work uh, that situation because it doesn't, it's not, it's, uh, it's not Kerry type of football. And Johnny Gold have had all the possession, one and every, picking up all the ball, all the breaking ball. 13 minutes gone, and uh, Kieran Donahue becomes the first player to get a yellow card. Michael Murphy's going out to the sideline there to talk to Jim McGuinness and uh, Rory Gallagher. This freeze on the 45 metre line. Johnny Gold already leading this game by one goal and three points to no score Michael Murphy with the goal from a penalty after Ross Wuherty was fouled Patrick McBerty, Liam McAloon and Colin McFadden have scored the points for Donegal this is a chance for Colin McFadden from the 45 metre line and this one's going to drop in short I think it does it's uh, well it was held and it was dropped and the referee again allows the play to go on I thought the Kerry player was fouled there but uh, referee said he wasn't as Martin says you're going to have to work for your freeze here's Mark O'Shea Great servant, of course, for Kerry. Ball knocked back to Kieran Donaghy, another great servant for them. Back to uh, Killian Young. Killian Young gives it across here to Peter Crowley. Peter Crowley had a very good game down in Kerry when uh, Donegal were beaten by double scores, 216 to 1 8. This time last year, here's Tomas O'Shea. Tomas O'Shea up to the Donegal 45 metre line. He's inside it. He knocks it forward to Peter Crowley again. Rory Cavanagh comes in strong tackle. That's a stupid play by Rory Cavanagh. No need to do that. You could see he was going to do it, and you said to yourself, don't do it. And Rory still committed himself to do it to give away a silly free. Could you, 
he was going over the player and they're going to kick it short anyway kick it short yeah and Ryan McHugh spotted it and almost intercepted it uh, Ryan McHugh but uh, it found its intended target the ball's half blocked Good block Neil, Dollar. Neil Dollar got a hand to that one and the ball breaks away for Ian McGee rather luckily I have to say because uh, the carry man did well on Declan Walsh Declan Walsh now plays a low one down looking for Murphy Murphy all sells a nice dummy and uh, Aidan O'Mahony certainly obstructed him but Murphy still strong still gets there that's amazing play by Michael Murphy still going Michael Murphy still being held Michael Murphy pulled to the goal referee's given no free that's unbelievable by the referee well I cannot believe he didn't he was definitely fouled Martin yeah he was fouled and he was actually fouled the time he sold the dummy he let the ball run past him brilliantly soccer style and he got fouled and then he went through and he was definitely fouled and yeah, he gave one penalty and he wasn't going to give the second one. And, you know, he'd be He's going to throw the ball up. Throwing the ball up. They need to analyse I would say if the sides were level, he would have given the penalty or done the other down. I think it's just a bad call. But, you know, we just want to look at giving out a bit of going to do it. But it looked like to, to, from us here that he was definitely put, pulled down. But anyway, I think he could have given the freeze, you said, yeah, earlier, earlier on. Yeah, too, and, free and, and he, he wouldn't have had to then think about that decision. But anyway, Kerry have won the ball now and uh, they get the free out. And... Uh, that's disappointing. No wonder Michael Murphy gets frustrated at times. Anyway, the ball's played out here to Killian Young now. Killian Young seeing a lot of the ball here. The ball's played out to uh, the corner back. Um, shot Shane Enright. Killian Young again, half blocked. Even McGee, the man getting in, was in strong again. Tommaso Shea. Fouls Tommaso Shea. Referee plays a good advantage on this occasion. Tommaso Shea, determined and strong, plays a long, hopeful ball down into the corner. And uh, Paddy McGrath trying to get there, but it's well fielded by. James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue, yeah. James O'Donoghue plays it back there too. I think it's Johnny Buckley in possession. Neil Gallagher trying to close him down. A couple of Donegal players involved. In it. Good tackling again. Frank McGlynn was involved in it. Brilliant play by Donegal. Certainly a good age to their game so far today. Ryan Bradley in that sweeper's role, as Martin mentioned. Now Frank McGlynn gives it to uh, Neil Gallagher. He plays it across here to Declan Walsh. Declan Walsh plays it off to Rory Cavanagh. Rory Cavanagh coming from deep. Kieran Donoghue will close him down. Neil Gallagher's available just outside his own 45 metre line. Neil Gallagher plays it on to Frank McGlynn. Frank McGlynn have been directing him to play out to the right hand side but instead he goes forward now to Patrick McBerty in a bit of space McBerty going down the middle plays a short one forward here to Neil McGee's gone forward Neil McGee uh, actually threw the ball looking for a foul but there was no foul there and now Kerry will break away and Neil McGee starting to get back into position again and uh, Crowley Crowley plays a ball across here looking for Kieran Dunahy Kieran Dunahy wasn't able to get it and that sums up Kerry's performance so far. Yeah, that sums it up as right. Sligo won four, Cavan two points. It's an interesting result. Kildare th- or score coming through Kildare three, Dublin three, uh, Charlie, so far in them games as well. That's Crow Park. Thank you for that. Here's Ryan Bradley coming from deep again. Lee McAloon making a run. Ryan Bradley to the hand and he gave the ball away. And now a chance for Kerry to break. Michael Deeney plays it across. Well read. Well read by Eamon McGee. But uh, no, he just overran it slightly. And Darno Sullivan will get it. But he's way out in that far side. Eamon McGee trying to close him down. Not much support for Darno Sullivan. He'll hold on to it now and he plays a nice little ball inside looking for Donica Walsh Donica Walsh the man who provided the pass that uh, got the goal in the All-Ireland quarter final and uh, Donegal trying to tackle again but the ball comes out now and there's a chance now for Johnny Buckley Johnny Buckley with a shot and Johnny Buckley gets a score does he for Kerry yes he does it's inside the post just waited for the linesman to concur so their first score comes and it's taken them 18 minutes to get there yeah, I watched their game against Mayo I think it took them 21 minutes to yeah, score yeah they scoring a while after the way the players play but I thought yeah, Ryan Bradley a mistake it was a mistake by Ryan Bradley he had the ball he's doing well he's playing well but them, them silly kind of mistakes that you're making it's cost them kind of things can cost Donegal it's, it's just making you know you have to at this level make sure you the ball you don't give it away and just hold the ball he's playing really well Bradley in the role he's playing but in that situation there he, he uh, lost the ball and scored so now it comes to the middle of the park, up goes big Neil Gallagher, but it's broken down and Kieran Dunne, he gets the breaking ball, not having contested it. Now Kerry perhaps beginning to move a bit better. Darn O'Sullivan on the ground, Neil McGee tackling him, but he gets it off to Tommaso Shea, bursting through here. here. There's danger here, Tommaso Shea goes through, and as Martin said, he always gets on the score sheet, and he's done that. So two points in quick succession for Kerry. There's 19, almost 19 minutes gone, and all of a sudden, it's 1-3 to Donegal, two points to Kerry. Yeah, exactly it. You know, and Kerry, you know, they get to grip. Darn O'Sullivan's causing problems inside. Neil McGee comes up the field and at times he, maybe he shouldn't bother coming up the field Charlie he comes up the field he lost the ball up the field stay on the job he's to do in Darren Sullivan give the ball to other players let Murphy McFadden these inside players get the scores and, and you know stay and hold your shape sometimes you lose your shape when that happens it's alright if you get a score and it looks great when you're on the ball but at times maybe it's better to concentrate on on, on Kerry are picking up all the ball now in the middle yeah, of the field Kerry getting the breaking ball there's good tackling now by Donegal again and a chance for them to break away 
Liam McAloon plays a ball out looking for Murphy Murphy's up there in a lone role and he needs support now he goes to ground he gives it back to Liam McAloon again he gets it back to Murphy Murphy thought about the shot thought better off it now plays a little ball inside Adam Iberti will have to come out to his left foot but he gives it back to Murphy the angle looks pretty acute but when Michael Murphy's involved well score fantastic score lovely score by Michael Murphy good play good play by McBerty there as well but what a score by Michael Murphy and Aidan O'Mahony's in a spot of bother here and they're going to play on though I think they're going to they're going to play on with Kieran Dunn a short kick out if you're injured they allow you treatment to come on Charlie onto the field to you but the game goes ahead yeah so just for, gives I it back to Roy Cavanagh so just what Kerry are doing I think they're putting the number 10 uh, they seem as if they're putting the number 10 Johnny Ling, lay, lying, back in, lying back in front of the Michael Murphy now yeah Frank, Mur- Frank yeah, McGlynn being fouled there by Peter Crowley and Kerry frustrated uh, Michael Murphy going to come out I think to take this one dead straight in front of goals and taking his time coming out getting a bit of a breather Aidan O'Mahony got an I think it's an elbow injury an arm injury Michael Murphy was concerned about him and was signalling out to the Kerry bench to come in and uh, the physio is in there now he might have jarred his elbow maybe in that uh, last challenge it's interesting we talk about Kerry but you know we talk about you know games being Senegal and all the different stuff is coming into Gaelic football listen, and most teams are at it but Kerry are the one team that don't do it they want to stick to the natural brand of, of, of Gaelic football and keep playing it that way you know I even watched the Donegal game last in the championship where you know you had Donegal player coming out of the ball laid off the Kerry players would actually move out of the way now no other county in Ireland every other county would probably hit you and yeah. take you out you know stop your run they just don't do that and you have to give them a lot of credit for that there to keep you know keeping the game going as, as, as it is you know and the different people look at things differently but it's going to kick this with the outside of the boot this will be a big kick if he yeah, straight in front of goals from the 45 metre line Michael Murphy drills it in but uh, he's drilled that one wide didn't get it right off the outside that, of the that, right foot that's three wrong options Murphy's taken two of them from Freeze and Conor McFadden another one they're going for these long range points why not work it in get another free work the ball I think it's someone we would look at you know Toronto are lucky they have a goalkeeper that can kick a ball over the bar you know they have, a, they have a goalkeeper that can kick a ball over the bar now. Johnny Gall getting hit with a short kick out. Yeah, Johnny Buckley taking the kick out from Brendan Keeley and uh, sells a nice dummy going forward. And he's got support uh, on both his sides and uh, the ball played out wide here. It wasn't a good ball. It was looking for uh, Michael Keeney, but uh, Eamon McGee read the situation and Eamon McGee's on the ground. And somehow gets it away to Declan Walsh, who somehow gets it away to yeah, Colin McGee. Yeah, good play by and it could be Gallagher now Ryan McHugh coming on but McHugh Patrick McBerty goes off him sells a dummy and he gets round the man but he has to come back the way and he plays it across here to Frank McGlynn Frank McGlynn has uh, Colin McFadden coming on to it but it was a hospital pass and uh, there's a collision there and uh, Mark O'Shea's come out the worst of it Colin McFadden and Mark O'Shea it was completely accidental and O'Shea was committed for the ball Dean McGee comes out and gets a straight hand on it and it's going to be a line for the carry and Mark O'Shea's in a spot of bother here Mark yeah he is hopefully he's alright fan stand up he wasn't he stood up as well as the, I think the ball was actually being passed to Ryan McHugh and, and so. it was him was supposed to go for it but it would end up the, both Mark O'Shea and Colin Fan came in in front and ended up just the two of them collided Colin McFadden you can see Colin McFadden he's down his hunger as well but hopefully Mark O'Shea yes yeah, his knee Mark and he got a bad bang yeah, just a hope bad he's bang. okay yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's only a bang. He's, he's in pain there. Hopefully it's just a bang, and that's what's causing the immediate pain. But uh, with cartilages and ligaments and stuff now, you just never know. Yeah, cruise it. You have a whole yeah, lot of knees. Yeah. And, you, know, with, you know, sometimes with all the training that players do and everything else, that they end up, you know, it's, it's easier now because, you're, you know, the, all the training you do, you stretch your muscle, or you stretch, stretch your ligaments more, Charlie. So yeah. it's easier then to, you know, and they end up, you know, it's, it's easier to pull them and end up causing problems, you know. 23 minutes gone. There's a stoppage here now. Derek Fahey alone, quite rightly, treatment for Mark O'Shea, and Mark O'Shea is certainly in trouble out there, feeling the effects of that. And uh, the physio is on the microphone. Yeah, and Dublin Five, Kildare Three, just coming through from Crow Park. That's right. It looks as if Mark O'Shea mightn't play any further part in this game, and that's going to be a blow to Kerry. They're already uh, one four to two points down. Donegal starting off uh, very well in this game. Uh, getting the opening score through Leo McAloon, then a penalty by Michael Murphy, then uh, points then from Colin McFadden and Patrick McBerty, and then a point from Michael Murphy um, just before he scored that one. There was two points in a minute from Kerry, uh, Johnny Buckley, and uh, Tomas O'Shea got the scores for them. 
and there's going to be a play will resume with a line ball for Kerry down between the 45 and the 20 metre line Mark O'Shea I'm glad to say getting He's back getting up to his feet yeah, 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 which is good to see but uh, certainly shaken by it he's looking at the hip, the hip area as well and he's trying to do I something he'll be okay Charlie he'll be okay he's, he's, he's a bit like the late, late Uncle Paddy he's tough he's tough, tough <laughs> they're yeah. making that get there you're doing they're made a very tough stuff well that's Charlie. good to see good yeah. to see good yeah, player Mark O'Shea player that quality that he can Sullivan going to take this line ball and uh, going to drop it in in the danger area and then it goes and up go the big men and uh, Neil Gallagher has cheered it on it has it he's completely surrounded by Donegal players it was Neil Gallagher who got two hands to it Owen Brosnan comes in and has a shot he's scored it one's going to drop over the bar is it it is dropping over the bar Owen Brosnan and uh, Neil Gallagher initially got his hands to that but he couldn't hold it and there was danger but uh, well Kieran Dunne was never going to get a shot done Martin because he was completely surrounded no, it really well and, uh, to uh, to uh, to Brosnan. It's three good scores by Curry, you know, Johnny Buckley and Owen Brosnan have got two of them and Donny won that ball well. I thought Neil Geller had it in his hands, it was even like a good catch. Some of these are better in that situation for playing behind Donahue and get up and fist the ball rather than going for the catch to fist the ball away from him. Awkward big man is Kieran Donny. Paul Durkin's kick out going to the middle of the park again. Rory Kavanagh feels it feels it as soon as he came down and uh, he wanted to take it quickly but he's prevented taking it quickly. Uh, there's players two hit one of Brian Bradley Brian Bradley Brian Bradley gives it his way in and the, the angle's very acute and he plays the ball out but uh, Kieran Dunne he should have cut it out but he didn't Dunne has it now and they'll change the course of the attack Rory Kavanagh has it now up at the out in his own 45 uh, swept away the challenge gives it out to Ryan Bradley again Ryan Bradley thought about the long one in but he thought better off it and Frank McGlynn going for him again Frank McGlynn has it they're not making much progress here Donegal now Rory Cavanagh decides he's going to go long Ryan McHugh's up there Ryan McHugh not Ryan McHugh plays it back here to Neil Gallagher he's uh, about 40 metres out Neil Gallagher plays it inside here to Patty McBerty McBerty gives it to Neil Gallagher Neil Gallagher thought about the shot now gives it back now to Ryan Bradley Ryan Bradley going forward and there's a bit of space ahead of him but uh, Donica Walsh trying to close him down Ryan Bradley goes well onto his right foot that's a great score. score by Ryan Bradley fantastic score by the one front of man oh that's a mighty score seen a gap down the left channel and uh, three players then looking to close him cut back onto his right foot and he had the minimum of space there Martin great score by Ryan Bradley listen he didn't play well the last day against Ron taking off he's carrying a wee bit of a knock there. he's marking Kieran Dunne he's doing the job on Kieran Dunne you have to give him Give him a lot of credit. Mark O'Shea is down again, Charlie. He's going to have to go off. Yeah, yeah. Sad to see that there. Hopefully it's not too bad. He's listening. They'll have to take him off. See if he feels that way because Colin McFadden that team said, I'll look at this man picked up the injury. I'm going to test him out. O'Shea has to go. How to go off. Looks like he has to go off. Ryan Bally's playing. He's carrying a bit of a right knock on his right leg. That's a great score. The way he's getting forward, playing back, and then. The Gallagher's kind of. Centre on John. Good way of playing it, you know. Where would you play Dunny? If you, if, if you was managing it. Yeah. Inside, yeah. full forward, and give you, you know, it's like, it's like saying, where would you play Murphy for Donegal? You, you know, you need your threat close to goals in that situation, but... Mark O'Shea, unfortunately, having to go off, we thought that he might recover, but it did look a bad bang. And uh, that's a blow to Kerry, Mark O'Shea mm. going off. You say that, uh, is, but the, it looks like there are breeze there, and you said, Charlie, it looks like if it's anything that's helping Donegal in the first half, you looking at it out there, you know. It's, it's like 1-5 like to 3, Charlie, yeah. now, and... You know, so far, so good for Donegal. Probably should be maybe further ahead with all the possession they've had. Brian Maguire, the man who's come off the bench here, and the kick out in the direction of Kieran Donaghy again, but uh, Ryan Bradley's there, That's and it'll go out for a sideline ball. That's what they're doing. They're aiming the kick outs at Kieran Donaghy, and it's a good move by Donegal. Give credit to the management. They made that move very early, quick. They know that fr took Frank, Frank McGlynn off him. Declan Walsh making a run. Frank McGlynn doesn't want to take it long. 
Ryan McHugh making a run as well, but he decides to go long now, looking for Michael Murphy, very close to the sideline. Murphy, Aidan oh, well, good play by Aidan O'Donoghue, Aidan O'Mahony there. He stayed behind Murphy, it looked as if Michael had it, but uh, just juggled it, and Aidan O'Mahony was there quickly to take it off. And Kerry building the game from the back here. It's uh, Tomas O'Shea coming outside his own 45 metre line. Donegal getting everybody behind the ball again and making Kerry play the ball across and short. And Owen Brosnan under a bit of pressure from Ryan McHugh there. Plays the ball out here to uh, Michael Gini. Michael Gini, that's a good ball inside now and a chance for them to break. The ball comes inside now to uh, James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue plays it across here to Johnny Buckley, who's already scored once. Johnny Buckley plays it inside. And uh, well, that's good play by Neil Goddard. He got a big uh, hand in there. Adam Averdy's well having, having a very good game. And he's playing on the 40, which is interesting. Maybe it does place that suits him. He started really well. Neil McGee. Neil McGee gave it a call on the He gives it to uh, Ryan McHugh. He's got Paddy McGrath running outside him. He knocks it inside looking for Neil McGee, but that was the wrong option. Should have given it out to Paddy McGrath. No chance for Kerry to break away again. And the ball played up by uh, Donica Walsh. Donica Walsh up to uh, Michael Keeney. Donica Walsh gets a return. Goes round Neil McGee. But Kerry hold on to it again and it's back, back with Shane Enright. But they've worked their way back towards the halfway line again. Not making much progress. Now they've got players across on the left-hand side. Here's the sub, Maguire. Maguire plays it forward to James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue played it outside. It wasn't the best pass in the world for Peter Crowley and Ross Woherty. He's back to close him. They're boxed in that corner, as they have been on several occasions. Here's Brian Maguire again. He gives it back out to James O'Donoghue. Now they're back outside the 45-metre line. And uh, it's played across there by Killian Young to Tomas O'Shea. He's got Owen Brosnan outside him. He steps inside. Perhaps it wasn't the best option. Now Johnny Buckley has it. He's on the 45-metre line, Buckley. Buckley selling dummies. Dean McGee seemed to foul him but the referees just play on and Owen Brosnan curls that one but I think it's going to go wide and it has gone wide well yeah bad play with Ray McHugh lost the ball field again it was Neil McGee going forward I don't agree with Neil McGee going forward that they're looking for that possession ball ball should have went to, to Paddy McGrath I know you're saying it's another defender but Neil, Neil McGee's a job to do and darn it's so important to do it and it's, Ryan McHugh should have given the ball to Paddy McGrath and you can get punished to the other end you can give away a ball like that to Kerry you know, you feel the Kerry, you know, the loss of Mike O'Shea is a big loss to them, to, to Kerry. The snow's coming down, Charlie. It's, yeah. it's not easy to play football if they're fairness to not, both teams. Are not good. One five to Donegal, three points to Kerry. It's a five point lead for Donegal, and they've taken a short kick out, Damon McGee from Paul Durkin. Uh, the ball played so they're 1 6, Dublin 9 points, 30 minutes gone. Mm, that's a tough, that's a tight game, as we expected it would be. Donegal building from the back again. Here's Ryan Bradley. Ryan Bradley has support inside him and outside him. He gives it to Paddy McGrath, who's got support outside him. And uh, they're moving forward here. Again, flicked forward by Declan Walsh to Paddy McGrath. Paddy McGrath is up to the 20 metre line, gives it to Ryan McHugh. Ryan McHugh gives it back here to Liam McAloon. Liam McAloon coming inside, gives it to Colin McFadden. Colin McFadden's on the 45 metre line. Colin McFadden decides he's going to shoot from the 45 metre line. Is that a score? No, it's just gone wide. Just drift wide at the end up. But uh, I'm not quite sure who it is at this stage. Try and get a look. I'm not sure who that is. But anyway, there's only one man down. There's a yellow card there for. Uh, I think it's the sub that's just happened. Yeah, Brian McGuire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the player. I see, hit the Donegal player late. I see it's Leo McAloon, is it? Yeah. Leo he hit Leo and Leo laid off the yeah. ball. He seemed to hit him late. Perfect. And uh, he picked up a yellow card. Good referee in to see you. Derek Fahey from Longford. Kick out coming to the left hand side. Big Neil Goller going for it. Gets a strong fist on it. Ryan McHugh trying to get on to it. Kerry man there. McHugh does well. And uh, it's picked up there by Ross Ward. He gives it to uh, Ryan McHugh. Not Roy Cavanaugh going through, but uh, no, again, ro bad option. Bad Ross Ward, he was inside him. That's Ross Ward, he's inside him. That's important to take that right option in that situation. And it's because Donegal have kicked what? I would make it at least five wides they've kicked, and they're all these stupid wides, you know, two long range frees going wide in that situation. It's a good play by Donegal to break through. And Rory Cavanaugh just, he went for the score there to his boot. He's playing well, Rory Cavanaugh. Just make that right decision because, you know, when you're on top, it's important to take your scores, Charlie. I mean, yeah. this game's not over, you know. Kerry have played nothing yet and they, they still feel themselves at half time. They'll say to themselves, well, hold on, we've played none if they go in at half time. Depending on what happens between now and half time, you know. Here they come again, Kerry. Ball forward, looking for Darren O'Sullivan. Out and grabs it, gives it off there. Michael Keeney gives it back to Darren O'Sullivan again. Gives it inside here to Johnny Buckley. Johnny Buckley can take a score. We've already seen that, but that's into the hands of Paul Durkin. Paul Durkin runs into a bit of trouble. Gets the ball away. He was lucky. And he was lucky, he's right. He was lucky. He just turned the wrong way on that occasion. Ball played out. That's not a great pass either, but Paddy McGrath makes something off it. Gives it out to Ryan Bradley. Gives it back to Paddy McGrath. Good, Good play, play by, by Paddy uh, McGrath. Excellent. Excellent play by Paddy McGrath. Now he needs to be careful because he's running into traffic. 
seems to be fouled here. Referee hasn't given anything yet. He's definitely given it now. And uh, free Paddy McBerty, anxious to get it into his hands, plays it back the way. And uh, here they come again, Donegal. Liam McAloon, first and forward. McAloon plays it to Rory Kavanagh. Rory Kavanagh plays it out wide this time, looking for Michael Murphy. He catches it on the first bounce. Aidan O'Mahon is right there with him, but he gives it back into Rory Kavanagh, who continues his run. He's going to run into trouble here, surrounded by three carry men. Well, surely he's been called. The referee says, no, he's not. Please the other way. And uh, the ball grabbed away. A couple of men getting involved in it. No need for that. Lane's man's in quickly. Barry Cassidy, ball goes yeah, I thought Murphy should be given the ball to Rory Kavanagh. I thought Rory Kavanagh shouldn't have ran into the traffic. You knew where you were going to end up. You were no way out of it to keep it. Sometimes it's better time to change the ball to the other side of the field and you know, you got caught. Like, it's interesting what, 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 what Kerry are doing. I'll let you... Yeah, Donegal won it again and uh, there was a late challenge there on Rory Kavanagh and uh, referee not too happy about it. There might be another yellow card going here. It was good tackling again yeah, by Good Donegal. work by Donegal. No, but the, just, it's important that the good work on the turnovers. Donegal have turned over a lot of ball. But you get scores at the other end by taking the right option. See Rory Gallagher on the field. What's happening with Kerry are doing is they're dropping the number 10, John, uh, Jonathan Lane. Lane is back in front of the full back line, back in front of Murphy. They're taking the number 15, Michael Ganey, out, out, to, out to the wing half forward to pick up Ryan McHugh. So, you know, it was important that whatever Donegal player is, is available, maybe it is Paddy McGrath now and he's getting, maybe getting on a wee bit more balls. I think it's important that we get the player loose on the ball. Colin McFadden took the short one that time, Martin. Now he's giving the ball away to Donegal Walsh, trying to give it inside and uh, to Ryan Bradley. And now there's a chance for Kerry to break. Paddy McGrath's back on the defensive uh, side and he's done well. A good tackle there on James O'Donoghue and the ball's forced back. But Donegal really giving the ball away in situations that they shouldn't be. And uh, Killian Young now coming across and he plays a ball across for Tommaso O'Shea. And uh, this could cost him a point because Tommaso O'Shea but he kicks it wide. But again, Donegal. Too casual play by Colin McFadden and just need to get it right in. Con I think Colin McFadden should pull out wide. Ray McGuire's come on him. Leave Murphy inside in his own. When Murphy did the damage early on his own, don't stand right in front of him. Stand, pull out wide to the wings. Leave, you know, play to our strength. And if that's our strength, you know, the strength of Donny Gall's point of view is keep the space and play out wide. Coming up to half time, we've gone a minute, uh, just short of a minute of injury time. So we haven't had a score in the 26th minute from Ryan Bradley's point, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, Kerry have come back into it, but they haven't got scores. They've kicked uh, some poor wides. Uh, Donegal have kicked some poor wides as well, mind you, you'd have to say. And uh, we often say goals make a big difference in football. Just goals making the difference here. Donegal have taken the short one again. Eamon McGee coming out with it. Knocks it forward, looking for It wasn't a good ball. Liam McAloon is bottled up and fouled, says the referee. Donegal playing balls to players. There's marked by two, three men. I mean, we, have, we have extra men. Ball played forward. Neil McGee's up from the full back then again. He's trying to go around Peter Crowley and he manages it because referee says that he took too many steps and you couldn't argue with the decision you have to say he's been consistent Derek Fahey in that regard and uh, bringing it forward now Tomas O'Shea Kerry would love a score before half time so would Donegal mind you but Kerry have possession at the moment as the snow comes down here in McCool Park in association with Watson Home Hire and Hardware the ball's played forward James O'Donoghue James O'Donoghue wasn't O'Donoghue. able to control it and uh, the ball's gone out and that should nearly be it. We're coming up to two minutes gone of injury time. I didn't see what was signalled. Probably more than that because uh, Mark O'Shea got treatment twice for a lengthy period but there's in fact there it is. Right. Two minutes gone and uh, well I suppose the, fair, the, the score line reflects the first half. Oh, Best book said it was definitely a penalty, and the only reason he didn't give it because they're saying he didn't want to embarrass people. But I think, you know, it was it maybe a bad call. But it's an interesting second half coming up, Charlie. Yeah, we wouldn't have been embarrassed if he'd have given a second one. But here comes Donegal now, and the support coming for Ryan Bradley. But he decides to go long, looking for Murphy. And uh, Aidan O'Mahony gets a big fist in and knocks the ball away, and it'll be a, a sideline ball to Donegal. Michael Murphy, Colin McFadden's inside, and uh, Liam McAloon making a bit of a run as well. His place. Looking for Colin McFadden, and it goes. McFadden got hat. <laughs> Kerry again, and to Tommaso O'Shea coming out of defence. Tommaso O'Shea over his own 45, and he plays it up along the far side. And well, James O'Donoghue, who's very close to the sideline, the referee says he was fouled, and the ball goes in again. Dean McGee trying to get out ahead of Darren O'Sullivan, but not easy to do that with the pace of O'Sullivan. He gives it back to O'Donoghue again. Thought about the one back and uh, plays overplayed it, but uh, lucky for him, Tommaso O'Shea was alert. He's running on, taking a lot of steps. The ball's on the ground now. He gets it off again to Darren O'Sullivan. He plays it outside there to James O'Donoghue. James O'Donoghue's under pressure from a couple of Donegal players. Ryan McHugh's on attention. Plays it out to Darren O'Sullivan again. Darren O'Sullivan plays it all the way back, back to uh, Tommaso O'Shea. He plays it inside to Michael Guinea. Michael Guinea's bottled up by a couple of Donegal players, and the referee says that they were fouling them. 
and Tomas O'Shea wanted to take it quickly. There's a player out here, Peter Crowley, on his own on the left hand side. But O'Shea, I think, is going to, yeah, he plays it out quickly. Wasn't the best pass in the world, but it'll be picked up by Shane Enright. Shane Enright gives it off to Johnny Buckley. Johnny Buckley now gives it out to Peter Crowley. He's inside the 13 metre line. He plays it inside. The corner back is all the way up there. There's four Donegal men around him. The ball's on the ground, and big Neil Goller gets his hands to it and picks it up, and he plays the ball out. That's good defending by Donegal. Yeah, good defending. But again, there's a cornerback coming up the field, Shane Enright, for Kerry. He didn't know what to do when he got the ball, and we're seeing a lot of that today. When it might be better to let, the, as I said, let the forwards do their do the, do the job up the field and let the backs you know, stay in defence. But it's the way the game has gone, Charlie. You know, we know what, you know, Carol Lacey, when he plays centre half back, the way he plays, because the cover is there, you can afford to do it. So, post maybe you need your, your good footballers in the half back lines where you need them. You know, that we're looking at that there, but it's just interesting the amount of time that, I mean, we look at Kerry and then we look at them that their three scores have come from two midfielders and a wing half back. But no, none of the Kerry starting forwards have, none of the Kerry starting forwards have, have, have scored. So it's just, you know, I suppose it's, we talk about it as the way, the way football's going, you know. Murphy turns away here and that's a great bit of play by Michael Murphy. Good ball driven in by Colin McFadden. Uh, the referee has uh, made them take the free again. Paul McFadden went back, grabbed the ball, took it quickly, drove it in in front of Murphy. Ian O'Mahony was on top of him, Martin, but can't do very much with him. On a one-to-one situation with the ball played in front of Murphy, God, is it? Well, I keep telling you, the, 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 you know, his body in that area will not stop him in that situation. Thomas O'Shea is handling a lot of ball, Charlie, in this game. Yes, fantastic. He's trying to take the whole fight to Donegal. Yeah, plays it forward to Johnny Buckley, and he's gone on the run, but the ball's played inside here now to uh, Jonathan Lynn. Lynn. Gives it off to Johnny Buckley again. He thought about the shot. Ryan McHugh got a hand in to stop him doing that. Comes out to Jonathan Lund, drops it in. That's a good looking shot. Comes off the post dangerously. Paul uh, Durkin had been watching it, but it came back to Ryan Bradley. And uh, But if I let off for Donegal there, you'd have to say the ball back now with uh, Durkin. He gives it off now to Frank McGlynn. Frank McGlynn has runners inside him and ahead of him. This is Neil McGee to Rory Cavanagh. Rory Cavanagh gives it forward here to Paddy McBerty. McBerty goes long again, looking for Murphy. Nice angle ball out for Murphy on the first bounce. He takes it. There's a runner going inside him here. Ross Woherty. Ross Woherty breaks away from a couple of tackles. That's, That's great, great play. Great play. Great play back here. Yeah, great play all through the Donegal. Yeah. didn't panic. But listen, the ball come back in the post could have fallen to a carry man and he could have knocked it over the boat in the back of the net. Charlie, yeah. it's a wee bit of luck too. But good start by Donegal to the second half. I suppose Kerry wanted to start. Good play. Murphy. Great ball by McBrearty, wasn't it? Into Murphy. And give Murphy got, won the ball really well and he started well in the second half. You expect him to knock this over the bar, Charlie. And uh, Ross Wardy again doing well. Ross Wardy's been. You talk about the fine of the. Of, for Donegal's point of view of a player, you know, that was, wasn't in the squad last year, yeah. even, you know, he's been great and he's great, you know, all he needs to do is just, you know, especially against, he'll get away with it against Kerry, you know, just tighten the ball when you have it because you're not going to be able to, you know, hold it. And you do see that, you know, you see it in Ryan McHugh as well, someone gets the ball, they get, they get caught in possession of the ball because of the fact that they're not used to it, yeah. not used to, to, to that situation, you know. Tomas O'Shea's in a spot of bother here and uh, it's a red card. It's a red card for Tomas O'Shea. I don't know, I didn't see that. I didn't, I haven't a clue what that's for, I have to admit. Not a clue. Linesman uh, Barry Cassidy came in and uh, referee came over, spoke to uh, Tomas O'Shea, went to the back pocket. Has to be something either said or striking. Uh, I don't or... think it'll be for something he said. It might be for striking, you know. Listen, he's been playing well. Maybe it happened, you know, the tackling on him and getting tackles in on him. And he, he, he uh, you know, he's doing like, look at a lot of players, I don't know, they... It's an interesting one, you know, but that's the Thomas that's Ish, Mark O'Shea off injured and Thomas Ishan. No, I didn't see anything no, in I didn't see it. Uh, maybe it, there's something happened that we didn't. Michael Murphy's free comes in and Michael Murphy's free goes wide. It's terrible, must That's not a good not a good free. I, mean, I don't just, understand why he kicks most of his frees out of his hands. He kicked that and close and free off the ground. That's a wee bit casual now. It's too too casual. I mean that'll put Donny got one seven. I mean just because Kerry a team sometimes trying to forty men do better, but just sending off. We try to find out what it was for, but it was very hard to see here what it was for. Very hard to see. Shane Enright, uh, maybe that's a message telling me what it's for. Um, sent off for a kick at Ryan McHugh, I'm told, Martin. Sent off for a kick at Ryan McHugh. I just have to get them. Well, Thomas Tomas O'Shea should know that. It's that. <laughs> And it goes there, and uh, Rory Cavanagh. I didn't Sorry, see much of a kick, Charlie, yep. and I was watching this. I no, don't know. We're just trying know. to find out there exactly what yeah, occurred, no, no. but I've just got a message there to say for a kick at Ryan McHugh. And Ryan McHugh coming on to the ball now, and uh, Kieran Donaghy tackling him, but he jukes out of a couple of tackles. Well done by the young Kilcar boy. And the ball played forward now, and uh, Lee McAloon out in that far side. 
He's got support inside him and he's under pressure. Liam McAloon needs to be careful here. He could lose possession. Trying to get rid of it. Two carry men around him and he has to foul one of them. And Johnny Gall gets bad play again. Yeah, yeah, bad play again. But I think it comes back. Michael Murphy was too casual there in the, in the free kick, Charlie. The free kick, you know, and Kerry, you know, Kerry, you understand the Kerry going up the ante. They're going to have to up the ante and, you know, looking at them in the way they mean they're 163 points down. And, you know, that's just a wee bit too casual, the whole thing. And Liam McAloon got caught too easy in possession there. You're not going to get away with possession like that there, and I think it's just going to need to watch what they're, what they're at, you know what they're doing, and they need to you know put the game away when you have chances. Here we go, uh, Johnny Buckley is going to take this free out in the far side, uh, just onto the stand side, and uh, plays it short up, looking for Darren O'Sullivan who does well to turn away, and uh, three or four Donegal players with him gives it back to Buckley. Buckley's got uh, Michael Guinea inside him. Michael Guinea gives it back out to Darren O'Sullivan. They're working, they're holding possession, but they've been forced back the way. Donegal getting a lot of players now, and the ball's almost thrown. Well, it is thrown, yeah, yeah, definitely thrown, and then he let him away with it. Aidan O'Mahony now fists it out here to Peter Crowley, but uh, Kerry not making much progress. Aidan O'Mahony's come up the pitch now, and uh, Adam Verdi back tackling him. And Aidan O'Mahony's strong in possession, and... Uh, Knocks the ball across dangerously. Kieran Donahue's on there. There's two or three Donegal players with him, and uh, the ball's broken out. And the referee free, yeah. says there was a free. Kieran Donahue fouling. Eamon McGee contesting well. We got the whole team behind 45, Charlie. Um, let's uh, call it the we sell the modern day football. There's nobody up the field. You have to work the ball up the field. They have an extra player and. It's 20 goal players, Damon McGee, this, this down injured here. McGee getting... down injured, but the referee's telling Paul Durkin to get on with it, and uh, Eamon McGee back up, but. Uh, well, he's now he's going to take the short free and he takes it off him and gives it was it close to... enough, Charlie. Yeah, lucky enough, I, was, I looked at the referee and he was looking the other way. Lucky enough, he was looking the other way, you know. Brian Bradley has it now and Paddy McGrath. Well, Paddy McGrath runs under Darren O'Sullivan and there's a bit of pushing going on between the two of them. He needs to be careful. And they all have lost possession again. Johnny Buckley has it. Terrible play by Ryan Bradley again to lose that ball going forward. And Kerry have kicked it away again. Both teams guilty of very poor play. Terrible match, Charlie. And... Uh, Needs to pick up the standard. Here comes uh, Michael Murphy out in the middle of the park now. Takes it forward there to Paddy McBerty. Paddy McBerty has Ryan McHugh in the oceans of space outside him. Coming on to it, Ryan McHugh. Chance maybe for him to take a score. Comes back the way and gives it back to Paddy McBerty. Chance for him to take the score. And wide. it's gone wide. It just curled off his foot. It looked good when he left his foot. But it started to swing then. And it stays. Donegal 1-6. Kerry 3 point. And, uh, Nine minutes into the second half. I think half you're right there. Like, maybe he should go for his own score in that situation. There, you go cut inside and kick the ball, put the ball, whatever. But you know, suppose when you're just in the squad, in the team, you want, you know, you end up probably passing the ball to the more experienced players. And, but it's um, Kerry are coming up now to book Paddy McGrath for that instant, Charlie, with Darren O'Sullivan. And I thought maybe Darren O'Sullivan actually stopped Paddy McGrath getting up the field and um, yeah. sending off sometimes spoils the game, and particularly. I don't class Thomas O'Shea, and sometimes he does, but I don't class him as a, as a dirty player, and there were no wild hire man, and I think it, maybe, I know, maybe people, people seen it over on the, the stand side of the thing, but yeah. there weren't much harm, and I, and I think it's down maybe to total frustration, maybe frustration with the Kerry team he's playing with, you know, as well, because we know how good a player he is himself, you know. Yeah, feel a bit Paddy McBerdy now, and again, completely wrong pass from Paddy McBerdy. He gave it back over his head, presuming that somebody had made a run, and just straight into a carry man's hands. A lot of mistakes by Donegal. A lot of mistakes by Donegal. Definitely a lot of mistakes by them today. Here come Kerry now, Owen Brosnan, and thought about the ball inside. The only man inside is James O'Donoghue. He's on the run. Paddy McGrath's right there with him. Got a strong tackle on him, and uh, Donegal Walsh trying to get there, plays it across, and there's going to be a chance here. Paul Durkin does well. Read the situation well, and was off his line quickly. Played it out, soccer style to Frank McGlynn, and now Rory Cavanagh. Rory Cavanagh has uh, Paddy McBerty ahead of him. Needs to be more careful this time with the pass. But the ball's broken away from Paddy McBerty. He's won possession again, but he's completely under pressure. And now the free's going to go the other way. I understand Rory Cavanagh passing a ball to a man, Charlie, this, this mark. And maybe McBerty called for the ball. He shouldn't call for the ball. We've got to make the right option. The player on the ball to make the right option. Here come Kerry. Kieran Dunne. Kieran Dunne gives it through to Owen Brosnan. Chance for Owen Brosnan with a shot here. Ball going in. And the ball going... Wide, right, says the umpire. Kerry are worse than Donegal, sorry, but Donegal are very poor. There's some silly mistakes being made by Donegal. They have an extra player on the field. You know, they need to get the, get work the ball out. And they need to decide who's the extra man. Yeah, well, Charlie, it's not a good match hey, in general. No. That's the first thing you know, see. Well, there's no such thing as good men when you're playing men back all the time. You know, you don't have extra men. But, uh, you know, just from... from uh, Listen, all you want to do is get the two points, but I think they're just a wee bit too casual in the Donegal team. There's too many you know, things. The game has to be won, and, and uh, that's the, the important thing is to win the match, first of all, anyway. Ryan McHugh in possession now. Gives it inside to Eamon McGee, coming at pace over in the stand then. Kieran Dunahee fouled him. 
Ross Woherty has it. He gives it to Declan Walsh. Tony Ball just need to up their performance. They're leading by six points. They need to open up a bit. And uh, Ball played inside now to Liam Michael or Paddy McBerty. Paddy McBerty plays it across here uh, to Paddy McGrath. Paddy McGrath gives it inside. It was half intercepted, but now there's a chance for Donny Ball here. And uh, the shot goes in, and the shot goes over the Liam McLoon, wasn't it? Liam McLoon, I think you're right, yeah. Martin. Yeah. And that's a good score. That's better. When Johnny Gaw moves the ball quickly, Martin, they're a different team. And uh, when they're obviously when they're a bit more assured about it. Good play by Paul Dork on the short kick out to Ryan McHugh to give maybe to actually clear this play in that situation. I think that, that this Johnny Gaw, I mean, they're make Carrier making a substitution here. I don't understand why Carrier leaving, leaving. It's interesting leaving Darren O'Sullivan inside in the full forward line. Now, Johnny Gaw have changed it. Liam McLoon's inside with Colin McFadden and Megan Murphy's come out, and Aidan O'Mahony has followed him out. So you feel if Donegal could get extra ball inside, you know, with Aidan O'Mahony, Marcus Shea's gone on the full back line. There yeah. would have probably two very, there's a Shane Enright and, and, and the sub that came on there playing. Brian McGuire. Brian yeah. McGuire. So, and so Donegal should put the, forget about, you know, put it in, put it into the advantage, but try to get it into that area. Now it comes looking for Johnny Buckley. Needing Gallagher gets a big fist on it and knocks it down. It's going to be picked up by uh, Liam McAloon. He gives it off to Rory Kavanagh. Rory Kavanagh running into a bit of traffic now. He gives the ball back here to Paddy McBerty. Paddy McBerty is inside. inside him. He gives a good ball inside. There is a chance here. Neil Goller has it. Neil Goller onto his left foot and kicks it over the bar. Should have passed into Ross Werdy. Yeah. Curly for the goal. The goal was on. Good play by Neil Goller. Maybe experience of taking the point. And uh, well, the point makes it uh, one eight to three points. So an eight point lead here for Donny Goller. One yeah, one eight to eight to three points. Can we leave you for a moment there? We'll be back to you. We're going to Healy Park, Anoma. It's Tyrone versus Cork in the National Football League Division One. It's Francis Mooney reporting. Yes, a double scores lead for Cork here at half time. Eight points to four, and they were well worth uh, that advantage. Uh, they, they started strongly dominating the opening five minutes, going ahead with two converted three from Colm O'Neill. Threw a bit of their chances, but goalkeeper now Morgan was off target with a long range free, and they fell further behind when Barry O'Driscoll landed the game's first point in play. The Red Hands didn't get their opening score until the 18th minute when Ronan O'Neill squeezed his shot over from a tight angle, and they quickly added two more to go level. Stephen O'Neill and Kyle Coney both hitting the target. But the Rebels getting the edge of midfield through Graham Canty and Aidan Walsh restored their two-point advantage with scores from O'Neill and substitute Donald O'Connor. They scored five of the last six points of the half, hitting majestic scores through Walsh, O'Connor and Paul Kerrigan. So Tyrone have it all to do at halftime here at Healy Park. It's Tyrone four points, Cork eight points. Francis Mooney reporting that it's all one way at Cork Park and it's in favour of the Dubs. It's Kildare 1 6, Dublin 1 17. Back to you, Charlie. Thanks, uh, Donny Gall had a move on there. Rory Cavanagh got in behind, but he was bottled up by the 14 man Kerry. Tomas O'Shea sent off, who we believe kicking out at Ryan McHugh in the early stage of the second half. Donny Gall lead by 1 8 to 3 points in association with Watson, Home Hire, and Hardware. Dublin 1 18, Kildare 1 6. Kildare haven't scored in the second half. Dublin have added 1 7 to that 11 points they had, and they certainly look to be the team to beat. Owen Brosnan has possession now. The Kerry captain plays it out to the far side. Kerry made another substitution here. Here's Brian Maguire now. Ball knocked forward. Close to the stand the end. And uh, a buyer comes to Aidan O'Mahony. Aidan O'Mahony uh, bottled up and loses possession. And that's good play. Ryan McHugh. Ryan McHugh back into it again. Gives it inside here to Michael Murphy. Michael Murphy bursting down the pitch. He has support to his left-hand side. Rory Cavan has made a good run ahead of Michael Murphy. This is Rory Cavan. There could be a goal chance on here. Rory Cavan decides to take the point. Yeah, well, I should have passed it inside again. Yeah. Pat, was it Patrick McBerty was inside him? And so you knew it has not got into an empty net. Patrick McBerty and Rory Cavan's getting forward really well and doing well on Johnny Buckley, but just, just I thought he should have given a little fisted pass. Yeah, across. Across, he just yeah. hammered into an empty net. Kick out comes and Johnny Buckley gets on to it under pressure from Neil Goller. 15 minutes gone in the second half here. Neil Goller gets a little tick from the referee. 1 9 to 3 points. A 9 point lead for Donegal. Carry of it all to do. They're 14 men. Charlie, 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 so far, it's a, it's very I poor. have to say, it's the worst carry yeah, team I've yeah, seen. Absolutely. Ross uh, Woherty. I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't believe, listen to an an OSA is carry, but there really are problems carry, you know. Ryan Bradley gives in to Colin McFadden, gives it off Ross to Rory Cavanagh. Inside, Ross Woherty's made a good run inside, but Rory Cavanagh's pass wasn't a good one, and Brendan Keeley cuts it out. And. Rory Cavan and Ryan Bradley sometimes get on great ball and sometimes don't <laughs> give it the right thing. He was very frustrated. You like to shake them in time, yeah. Charlie. But because down the road is going to be very important, you know, against, against we're not going to say better opposition than Kerry, but against op good opposition where, you know, you're going to have to make the right option and don't give away the ball, you know. Darnell Sullivan battling hard out there and uh, three or four Donegal men around him. 
Uh, Neil McGee, the ball hit the top of his head. He was under pressure from Ryan McHugh back to Neil McGee again. Darren O'Sullivan trying, trying as hard as he can, but it's not easy out there. Neil Goller has it now. Plays it across here to Liam McAloon. Liam McAloon has Frank McGlynn ahead of him. He has Eamon McGee making a run, and he gives it to Frank McGlynn, and uh, Liam McAloon's continued the run again. Now they'll go back the other way where it goes to Ryan Bradley Ryan Bradley he should have went the other way at. yeah he just turned the wrong way again now it's Michael Murphy Michael Murphy has uh, Declan Walsh wide of him he gives it to Declan Walsh Declan Walsh has Ryan McHugh way out wide now and uh, Ryan McHugh just coming off him again and takes the ball again McHugh coming Frank across Frank up this side of the get over to him Michael Murphy might spot Frank McGlynn instead he goes a bit shorter to uh, R- Rory Cavanagh Rory Cavanagh now has uh, Frank McGlynn outside him Roy Cavan has gone on the run and Frank McGlynn cuts inside. Here's Ryan McHugh on it just outside the Kerry 45. Good ball into Frank McGlynn. Good ball forward again to Patrick McBerty. Patrick McBerty and there was a bit of holding going on in there. The goalkeeper come out and made a very, very good save. Ross Woherty was trying to get there. Referee says he was fouled and uh, I thought there was a wee bit of a late tackle there, Martin. Yeah, a bit of a late tackle. Patrick McBerty shouldn't have went for the score. Charlie was going to be blocked and it's just again the wrong option taken and the ball goes on. It goes in the keeper's hands. Kieran Donaghy has possession. Just to remind you, Kerry are down to four. 14 men, Tomas O'Shea was sent off for kicking out at Ryan McHugh, we're told, in goes the high ball, Neil McGee gets a good strong fist on it and knocks it away, chasing it out here is Donica Walsh, Neil McGee on his tail right up beside him and forces him to play the ball into Owen Brosnan, Owen Brosnan uh, miscontrolled it and Ryan Bradley fly kicked it forward but Aidan O'Mahony comes on to it, gives it to Johnny Buckley, Johnny Buckley turns away from the challenge of Ryan Bradley, he's going to go long now but there's three against one in there, Donaghy grabs the ball, and there's a couple of men round him but he gives it back to Darnell Sullivan on his right foot Darnell Sullivan and over the bar it goes that's Kerry's first score of the second half and it's taken them 18 minutes and if my memory bears me right it took them 18 minutes to open the scoring exactly on the first Luke and Arthur Martin McKinney coming on will be the performance of Kerry so far to go 18 minutes in the first half and 18 minutes in the second half without scoring Gunny Gall have been very casual Charlie I'm not happy with Gunny Gall's performance and they should be you know they should, they've only won nine scored they've all the possession to play and we look at you know it should be, it should be 115, 116 at least and just been very very disappointing too you know Gunny Gall is not a good performance alright you want the two points and that's the most important thing from Gunny Gall's point of view and uh, Good Here ball by Frank McLean. Off to Leo McLean. Paddy McGrath has gone on the run, but he decides to go long, looking for Colin McFadden. Colin McFadden, uh, well, contested it, but uh, Paddy McBerry made a good run, hoping for the flick on, but that didn't happen. And uh, the ball's outside. Michael Keeney has it around the middle of the park, gives it into Aidan O'Mahony. Blocked there by Michael Murphy and blocked well by him. And he gives it off there to Shane Enright. Shane Enright flicks the ball up to Donegal Walsh. Donegal Walsh knocks it outside. And the ball's knocked inside to Ian Shane right, Ian right again. And this is a better play by Kerry. They're coming up. The ball's driven in. The ball's driven away. The wrong option. Should have knocked the ball across. I think it was James O'Donoghue. No, it was, it was uh, the number 10, I think. Oh, Jonathan Lynn. Okay. Jonathan Lynn that did it. Yeah. And uh, tour just, option. Yeah, it is a poor option. And, uh, you know, there's another sub coming on on the far side. It's Dermot Britton Lowe coming on for Patrick McBurdy. Yeah. McBurdy picked up that knock and he's going off. And, uh, Good game, Patrick McBurdy. One, yeah. one of the best games yeah. in yeah. Donegal Jersey today. I thought he was very impressed to be involved in the ring, you know, and give a great ball with the ball to Rory Cavan in the second half. So he's had a good match. It's interesting, Donegal. They've been completely on top, Kerry. I mean, we see one nine. Oh, that's a very dodgy ball out there by Paul Durkin. Eamon McGee did brilliantly under pressure there. There was two men close to him. Should have given it out to Paddy McGrath, yeah, I think. I yeah. thought well, that Paddy McGrath was the, with the spare man, you know. I mean, McGee's gone forward now. He plays the ball out looking for Ryan McHugh, but there's no chance of getting that one. Should have hand passed it rather than kick past it. I, think, I just think that Neil McGee should stay back in defence and play his game back there and lay the ball off and let you know let Frank McGlynn and these runners from the half-back line get up the field and his own point of view, because he's only tired himself out running. He loves being up the field, Charlie. He loves. You can see it. I see it now. He's at the two Railway Cup matches, and he loves going up that field. Didn't he score one of them? No, he did. Surely he did. That's right. He scored. You <laughs> he, 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 he can't keep a good no, man back. No, that's, that's it. Can't keep a good man down. Needs to say, you know. Anyway, Kerry trying to build again. No one Brosnan. No one Brosnan drills this one long, looking for Kieran Donaghy. Eamon McGee trying to get onto it. You know, beautifully fielded by own by Kieran Donaghy. Kieran Donaghy surrounded it now and uh, goes to ground and great tackling by Donny Gaw. Declan was comes in because even McGee come had the tackle and gives it inside that's great play even McGee's having a great year so far yeah, no, very good and had a great year last year you know, I mean his last three games last year you know, I, I yeah. think he's one of the players in the man on the ball Rory Cavanaugh we always talk about very unfortunate not to get an Ulster yeah, no the that. way they played here's Martin McElhoney in possession and uh, Ryan Bradley coming off him and Ryan Bradley knocks it forward looking for Murphy who's gone back into the full forward line turns away from Aidan O'Mahony again gives it to Ryan McHugh 
Glenn McHugh being challenged, gets it out there to Ryan Bradley. He's on his left foot, Ryan Bradley, and he takes it straight down to Brian Maguire, who makes a mess of holding it, but uh, no Donegal man in there. Still one nine to four points, 21 minutes and 20 seconds gone in the second half in association with Watson, home hire, and hardware. Kerry trying to build again, Johnny Buckley. Johnny Buckley gives it out here now to Brian Maguire. Brian Maguire gives it back to Johnny Buckley. Johnny Buckley thought about the pass to Maguire, going to shoot himself. That should be Paul Durkins. Paul Durkin almost perfect. You just have to say prevented a point Who's there. Yeah. Yeah. He had big hands above the crossbar. Rory Cavanagh gives it out to Michael Honey. Michael Honey bursts through a couple of tackles, does well, gives it to Liam McAloon. Referee plays a good advantage. Back to Martin Michael Honey again. Martin Michael Honey flicks it out to Ryan Bradley. Wasn't the best pass in the world, but he's gone for the return as Martin Michael Honey. St. Michael's man over the 45 metre line. Now gives it in to Murphy. And Murphy gets a bang in the back Sorry. there and fouls. That's better play for Well, better ball. Murphy's gone inside and he's a tag man. He was out the field for a while and it's. Uh, you know, Colin McFadden, I know he's only have to come by. You know, he's not having, he hasn't had a good National League by his standard. His good. So, you know, it's just better to do it that there. And Rory Gullers coming out and telling tell Eamon McGee to fist the ball down from Kieran Johnny when the ball goes in. I have to say, Johnny inside, I said it, that's what I'd be playing him. Yeah. But, uh, I suppose we have to make a, well, listen, we'll try and make excuses or allowances. Donegal were much later getting back at it than most of the other teams, Martin, because they didn't take part in the McKenna Cup. So, you know, I know they were training during January, but really the National League was their first competitive game. Mm, the I know, first I National League. Oh, no, yeah. listen, Donegal would be happy enough, but, you know, it's just that uh, silliness. I mean, even, you know, and, you know, you understand players do, some players do, but I don't understand good players do. Ryan Bradley's a really good player, and I don't understand that last time he kicked that ball his left hand, saying, that if you're playing Tyrone and them teams, you know, good, I'm not yeah. away from Kerry. I mean, this is a terrible Kerry here. Maybe sometimes you have too much time on the ball against Kerry. Murphy with that free over the bar. Yeah, 110 to 4 points. It's a goal and 3 points for Michael Murphy, and uh, a couple of points from play, and a goal and a point from freeze. And here they come again, Kerry. Ball driven forward again, looking for Darren O'Sullivan, but I'll tell you what, it didn't do him any favours. Paddy McGrath's at it and uh, collects it he's got support inside and outside he gives it inside to Frank McGlynn Frank McGlynn turns away from the tackle of Kieran Dunne he gives it to Eamon McGee Eamon McGee plays it across here to Declan Walsh Declan Walsh came in it from the start of this game in place of Anthony Thompson he gives it to Rory Kavanagh he was under pressure when he got it he does well he's fouls as the ref he plays it outside here to Ryan Bradley Declan Walsh has made a run inside him has he spotted him? He has. He gives it to him. He's got uh, Liam McAloon outside. He's got the Dermot Brick Malloy running. Dermot Brick Malloy has possession. Gives it to Liam McAloon. Back to Malloy again. The Neve Connell men combining. Gives it back to uh, Brian Bradley at Bonkrana. He needs to be careful. Gives it into Liam McAloon. Liam McAloon turns the other way. Martin McElhoney now uh, goes around the tackle. That's good play by McElhoney. Referee says he was fouled. And that's good play by Martin McElhoney. Uh, it's done well since he came on, McElhoney. At least he's adding a wee bit of bite to it and driving forward. You know, it's, it's been McFadden's coming out to kick this this Tim now. Murphy staying inside, but I think it's important that Donny Gold. I mean, this this is the I'd say this is the worst Kerry team I've seen. Charlie watching football, and I don't know where they're at or what they're about themselves. But you know, well, it is a wee bit frightening. I thought before the game was in maybe Kerry's Kerry, but this is a wee bit frightening. You see, Donny Gold have had it's like a challenge game for them. They've had far too much time in the ball, and that's why I'm disappointed they've only scored one ten. Donny Gold, but. Um, you know, Kerry have been... Here's Colin McFadden. It's got the height, uh, hasn't got the distance. There's hands reaching for it and knocking the ball out. Kerry get possession. Number 23 there is uh, Jack Sherwood, who's come into the game. Donica Walsh gives it inside to Aidan O'Mahony. Aidan O'Mahony coming forward and plays the ball away out to the far side. And man on the run is Brian Maguire. Brian Maguire is going to be challenged by Ryan McHugh, but he goes round that challenge. He's on the stand side. Colin McFadden trying to get there to him as well and does well. And a foul. Ryan McHugh gives it back to Colin McFadden. Colin McFadden inside his own 45 metre line gives it to Neil Gallagher. Neil Gallagher coming forward. He's got players to his right hand side. He gives it to Rory Kavanagh. He's got Declan Walsh out wider here. Now Neil Gallagher's free inside him. Declan Walsh has spotted him and oceans of space inside his own 70 metre line. He's coming up to the halfway line now. Gives a short one to Liam McAloon. Gets it back from Liam McAloon. Neil Gallagher gives it out to Ryan Bradley. Ryan Bradley has Martin McElhoney ahead of him. He's got uh, Ryan McHugh outside him. McHugh's on the 45. Gives it back to Ryan Bradley again. Bradley steps inside. Colin McFadden's inside. Martin McElhoney has it now, but here's Colin McFadden. He's got a runner in Frank McGlynn. Frank McGlynn now knocks it inside for Murphy. Murphy turns away on his right foot and uh, eyes up the, the goals and knocks the ball in. And uh, great score. That's what makes Michael Murphy the player he is. Yeah. 
Once he turns away, Martin creates a bit of space like that and gets the time to look up at where the goals are. He's going to score yeah, most of his games. All the players on the side, he's very good at making space for himself. What I mean by that is, you know, when we talk about the Stephen O'Neill's, we talk about Donny, he's not able to make mis- space for himself inside here today. And we, you know, we look at it from that point of view, they're you know, not able to see Donny Galt on the first sub over the yeah, first. Darnell Sullivan's gone off the Kerry team as well. Shake hands here with Neil McGee coming in. Power going off, and uh, just can't see the number of the player coming in. But Donegal have another sub warming up as well. Who is that, Matthew Smith? By any chance, Mark? Rory Cavanagh going off. There's Matthew Smith here, right? Matthew Smith coming in. Yeah, so just a question. Yeah. 26 half minutes. I'm going to throw a player like that into this thing. Maybe Donegal must feel at the stage of the game. Plus, it is over 1-11 to 4 points. You think so? We're going to leave you there. We'll be back in a moment or two. Let's go to Healy Park again. Francis Mooney standing by for a report on Tyrone and Cork. Yes, Tyrone uh, was betting to, to bring themselves back into this game after a very flat performance in the first half, filling eight points to four at half time. They now trail by nine points to four. Cork with a, a free uh, from uh, Colm O'Neill in the early stages of the second half. It's, uh, but the, the, Mickey Hart has overhauled his team. He's only made one substitution, but significant positional changes. Uh, Centre back Joe McMahon has gone to wing forward. Midfielder Colin Cadna also gone to wing forward, and Matty Donnelly moving back uh, from the attack to centre back position. Uh, so just one substitution has Aidan Cassidy into the team uh, for uh, Paddy McNeese and Tyrone certainly with a big job of work on their hands here. They've gone eight games unbeaten, uh, three games unbeaten in, in the league and looking very impressive but today looking very ragged and chasing the game all the way against a well-organised and very mobile and fit court team physically big as well and really putting it up to Tyrone in every department that Aidan was uh, surging through the middle as he had done several times in the first half and he has kicked Another super no well he has the ball is tailed wide. No, the ball the umpire has raised the flag and Aiden Walsh with the second long range effort of the afternoon and he's certainly causing severe problems to Tyrone around that midfield area. So we've got uh, two and a half minutes played here in the second half at Healy Park. Uh, Tyrone needing to lift the game. They trail by four points to nine. Okay, thanks for that. Francis Burney reporting it's Millwall nil, Blackburn Rovers nil, England leading Italy by six points to nil, and Dublin have scored. Another goal, it's 2.18 for Dublin, 1.7 to Kildare. Back to you, Charlie. Thanks. Hello, Charlie. Can we hear you there, Charlie? Hello? Yeah, you're slipping out occasionally there. Just go again, Charlie. He's a goal chance. No, it yeah, you, you're coming in and out. Maybe we'll give yes, it one nice. more try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we've got you now, yeah. yeah that's good. There's a slight short in the system here in Cool Park today, and I think it's caused just a, a cut out from time to time. Gary McFadden's coming in here to the Donegal team. And uh, Neil Gallagher, Gallagher who's going off. One Glenn Swilly man replacing another. A 111 to four points. The score, 29 minutes gone. It's going to be a free to carry. They've only scored once in the second half. Johnny Buckley is going to get an opportunity to get their second and uh, this freeze about 30 metres out kicking it in, it's coming in it's, uh, Come yeah, it's, good. it's gone over the bar so a second point of the match for Johnny Buckley the second point of the second half for Kerry it's only their fifth point in all 111 to Donegal 5 points to Kerry that's 14 points to 5 so uh, you might say as we said earlier on this game as a contest is over Kerry have been down to 14 men for a long time in the second half of course with the sending off of Tomas O'Shea uh, for what we're told was a kick out at uh, Ryan McHugh. We didn't see it, but that's what we're told it was. Ryan Bradley going forward has the ball knocked away from him. The referee says there was no foul there. It's a line ball to Kerry. Ryan Bradley appealing to Barry Cassidy that it should have been his ball, but uh, it's bad play by Ryan Bradley again. Good possession of the ball. You can throw the ball through a player, Charlie, and you just that's what happens. You know, ball into the middle of the park here now. Kerry trying to build Aidan O'Mahony. He's been working hard at Martin, uh, Mark and Michael Murphy. That's been a tall order, but every chance he's got in the second half, he's come forward a bit as well. Owen Brosnan gives him the ball again. Sweeps it across to that far side, and uh, it's, uh, I think it's Brian Maguire on there. That's not a good ball from him. It's put uh, Shane Enright under a lot of pressure. Ryan McHugh was there very quickly, almost as quickly as the ball, but uh, they've got possession again, and there's a foul there by Paddy McGrath. Referee says play on. And the long ball coming in, looking for Kieran Dunne. Up they go again. Kieran Dunne has it, and he's inside the penalty area. He goes to ground. Referee says that there's going to be a penalty. 
And, uh, well, I was asking you earlier on where would you put Kieran Donaghy, and you said in close to goal, and that's why you put him in close to goal. Two Donegal men with him, but he's so good in the air there, Martin. Yeah, Donegal took Neil Gallagher off, the one player maybe you should put back in for that situation there. Now, maybe he was injured, I don't know, Charlie, but the game's not over. You know, you've got to keep it up casual. They've taken Matthew Smith on in, in, in the middle of the field there, and they've taken they've taken Neil Gallagher, Rory Cavan is off, and Neil Gallagher is off. You know, I think you have to play out the game and won the game, you know. And uh, this is interesting. Well, Kieran Dunne has been very effective since he went in full forward, and he won that ball very well from the line ball. And but again, it was Ray and Bradley. You know, casual lost the ball up the field the other end. Lost the ball a bit for a ball. Started arguing with the linesman about the sideline ball. You know, I mean, Dunne going to win the game. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, that situation. But it's been, a, I think, it's been a poor performance with Dunne as well, Charlie. Too casual in their whole approach to the whole thing, and not clinical enough, and just putting teams away. You know, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. You've got to put teams away. Kieran O'Leary, who's not long on in the game, is going to take this penalty. Paul Durkin made a, a brilliant save when you were away, Miles, uh, that uh, time when, with Francis. Here comes the penalty, strikes it, and Paul Durkin gets a big foot to it and saves it. Seems like Kerry's day, doesn't it? it just uh, went straight down the middle, really at it. The ball's gone out for a 45 now. He decided to, more or less to go straight than Paul Durkin. Hard to beat a big man like Paul Durkin. It's a good Durkin game today, Durkin, for Danny Gullies. made that important save when... And we're away there, and that, that was a good save again. There, but that sums up Kerry's day, Charlie. They've, they were one point from play in the second half. Was that from Darren O'Sullivan? I think it was Darren O'Sullivan. They were one point from play, and that's the only score of forward Scott. They got three points to play the first half. One from Johnny Buckley and Owen Ross and playing midfield, and Thomas Shaven wing back. And just it sums it up. You know, they don't. I know they don't like playing against the, the blanket defence or the Ulster type of football, but yeah. it's a long way back for, for, for Kerry from this performance here today. I know that the players miss them, and they will make a difference, but, you know. Uh, You'd have to think that they're, and they're looking at Division 2 football, Charlie, yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, looks that way. Ball off the ground there now. From I know they think they've down. A lot of ordinary players, players that... Uh, they're, 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 they're weaker players are poor. You know, the other players are poor. I mean, Thomas O'Shea and, you know, Gunnahy and Mark O'Shea and maybe Brosnan players were taking the fight. But their they're weaker players have been... None, I mean, none of their forwards have scored from play. Martin, or no, sorry, Johnny Buckley scored. Is it Darnell Sullivan? Was it Darnell Sullivan got the point after 18 months? Was it him? No, it wasn't him. I thought maybe I wrote down the wrong man. They got a point anyway. Was don't know who got it. Somebody got a point. I think they were one yeah. point, but um, they've been poor. But I've been disappointed a wee bit in Donegal too, the way that Donegal have played. But you know, it should have been easier. They can say, look, you beat what's in front of you, which is dead on. And uh, we're happy enough. Any day we're happy, look, we'd be happy to beat Kerry Bay a point in the yeah. past. Yeah. So it sums it up. Donegal haven't played well, and they've really hammered a, a, a Kerry team. Yeah. 111 to 5 points as we reach the end of it. Colin McFadden gives it off quickly there. And uh, Frank McGlynn beaten to the ball and goes to ground. He got a bit of a bang there, Frank McGlynn running into two or three players, and hopefully it's not too serious. But Kieran Dunne's down injured too. And this, you know, after losing Mark O'Shea, Thomas O'Shea red carded, he'll be out. Mark O'Shea injured going off. Kieran Dunne off that penalty for the penalty and picked up a knock and he's lying down in the middle of the field here now. Yeah, Frank McGlynn's gingerly getting to his knees, but hopefully that's not too bad. Tony Gall next week, of course, next Saturday down in Cork. We'll have that game live for you on Saturday Sports. It's a five o'clock start. The ball played forward by Johnny Buckley. A good ball it is to uh, Donica Walsh. Donica Walsh gives it inside there to O'Leary. O'Leary gives it back to Johnny Buckley again. Johnny Buckley shoots. Good luck on the It's just going to go wide, I think. No, it's gone over the bar, bar actually. Yeah. Just held his line well. Johnny Buckley's third point of the game. Frank McGlynn, I'm glad to say, he's back on his feet again. We're inside the last minute. So it's how that ball came from Frank McGlynn losing the ball at the end. And that's the thing I'm talking about in the whole game. And I'm not saying, you know, you're going to be punished by better teams in that situation. We've just got to try to... And I think what's wrong with our team is we're far too tight. We keep it... The game is too tight. Don't you go play it up the centre. We don't leave room. We leave room for Murphy. He gets ball and he takes men on and scores. But we play Mc, McFadden basically beside him in front of him. Look at the team there now. No woods to our team. None whatsoever. We haven't enough woods to, our, to, our, to, to, to the way our team is. And we need to get a bit of more woods because we need woods. Because if you're playing against teams that's going to play blanket defence against you, you need more woods to your team in that situation. Just looking here to see. Don't uh, all want to make another substitution? And uh, maybe they've too many subs on. Have they? I don't know. Marty O'Reilly. They're trying to get Marty O'Reilly on here and. Uh, I wouldn't do if they put on too many subs now, Charlie, after one in the game handy enough. I'm not sure who's gone off. It was Liam like a loon that one that was going low off, and I went down that far side, I thought, myself, you know. Here they come again, Ryan McHugh, on the stand side, coming up along the line. Liam McAloon's there, I don't think anybody's going off, Martin. No, maybe I would say they might have five subs on, had they were trying to put on another sub with it, I don't know. I think maybe. Marty already came on there. 
I think he did come on, but uh, hopefully they're not playing with 16 men now, are they? Oh, well, that'll be it. I'm sure somebody will take in care of that situation, but uh, I didn't see anybody get off. But anyway, the ball goes into Colin McFadden. Colin McFadden seemed to be fouled. The referee has given the foul now, so maybe we'll do a head count there, Martin. Uh, well, I'll say we'll go, definitely go to 16 on, Charlie, I would think, you know. Um, did Martin Riley didn't come on, though, then, did he? Did he come on? I don't uh, I don't think he came on. Then maybe in the end of Charlie, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. He certainly was. Well, many, many subs had done a goal, had done goal used in the game. Oh, I think they're okay there. Uh, um, maybe they are, yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're okay there. Matthew Smith came on. Martin Michael Honey came, came on. on. Martin Michael Honey came on. Gary um, McFadden came on. Gary McFadden had been allowed one more. Yeah. We definitely just have 15 on. Michael Murphy's free goes in and over the bar. 1-5, it's all a bit of an anti-climax now, we're well inside injury time, almost two minutes gone. It's all over at the five points, it's all over. Not a classic by any stretch of the imagination, Martin, but I suppose the key thing here today was getting the two points. Uh, Donegal needed to win their home games, and uh, this is going to leave Kerry in big trouble now. Four, no points from four matches, Donegal four points, go to four points from four matches, so, but plenty of work to be done. Yeah, there's work for Donegal to be done as well, but I mean, they'll be happy enough, so we'll see the the game out of the way and something you control the game and what did you score? One twelve and the end up we scored and just that's the disappointing thing Donegal said you carry a terrible Charlie. That's as